All right, the killing of Cecil the Lion still, it continues. It's erupted into a global debate around the slaying of wildlife like rhinos, lions, giraffes. In many of these cases, rich tourists have flown into game reserves. The animals are virtually lined up in front of them and all they need to do is pull the trigger. In some cases, they don't even have to line the gun up or hold it. So can this ever be classed as actual hunting or is it killing, plain and simple? And why do people seem to enjoy it so much? Um... Let's find out. Trophy hunting director Sheldon um, Lai joins me now. Uh, Sheldon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Paul. Good, good. Um, Sheldon, I understand hunting. I understand going into the bush uh, to try and get pigs, to try and get deer. That I can understand. I understand the whole, you know, big game hunting as well. What I can't understand is the psychology of people who spend a huge amount of money to be sat in front of an animal and told to pull the trigger. What is, do you consider that to be sport? Oh, look, Paul, I think um, everyone has their own definition of, of, of hunting. Um, some people hunt for meat, some people hunt for trophies, some people um, just enjoy the outdoors. Um, I think, you know, people coming from larger cities and things like that uh, have different views on, um, on hunting to people that live in a rural environment. Um, Realistically, I think no, no matter what your views on hunting, it's going to um, it's going to continue, and um, people need to be ethical and humane in the in the in the way they go about it. Okay, and so is the kind of hunting that we're talking about now, the Cecil kind of hunting, is that do you think ethical and humane when you get some twat paying a fortune to go into the into the middle of nowhere in luxury and have a group of people pull animals in front of his gun so that he can shoot them? Well, look, I think um, in, I, I think uh, we don't have all the facts at this stage as to exactly how Cecil was hunted. Um, I think what we what we have is a, a storm of social media um, saying this is what happened to Cecil the lion. It's a mm, horrific mm. thing. Um, I think if those hunters have done something that was unethical or illegal, then they should face the consequences for that. I think uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of very famous people in history have hunted lions. Um, you know, Theodore Roosevelt, people like that. Um, and I think they're all pretty ethical and, and good at what they do. Uh, good okay, at what they but did. and this and is what, I mean, you're an expert... guys have done it the wrong way... Sure, but you're an expert in this area, and, and, and I don't know that this uh, dentist from America has actually broken any rules. Rules have been broken, but I don't think it was necessarily him that did it. But it's the definition of this term hunting that I want to nail down with you. You're an expert. In what sense can... Can target shooting at best be described as hunting? You know, when the, the animal, in some cases these animals are drugged and they literally just sat in front of the guns and an expert shooter sits next to this bloody dentist and says, pull the trigger at some point over the next 10 minutes and that beast over there will be very badly hurt. Well, I, I don't think that it does qualify as hunting as such, Paul. Um, but I think, m you know, maybe some people are incapable of uh, undertaking hunting as we know it, and yet they still want to Kill experience things. the uh, the taking the taking of a trophy. They they want to end the life of something, and I think everyone does it for their own reasons. Um, I'd I'd like to think that ninety nine point nine percent of people do it for uh, for better reasons than um, um, than just pointing a gun in the direction to kill something. Yeah, because. That is just basically animal execution, isn't it? And as I said at the beginning, I mean, I get hunting. I get the challenge of going into the bush and the expertise that you need to track something down. And, and you know, something has more than a fighting chance. I mean, the stuff that you go out, you take people out hunting and, and the, the, the targets have more than a fighting chance. But in a situation like this, you know, is, it, is this the sort of, no, you can't even call it hunting, the Cecil killing, is that the sort of thing you would ever do? No, it, I mean that sort of hunting. It doesn't really. Uh, it doesn't get me enthusiastic about. Uh, I'm not enthusiastic really about killing animals. Full stop. Myself. Um, I I get a thrill out of taking other people to uh, experience the outdoors in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know I've uh, a lot of friends that I that I grew up with that hunt, and um, you know we really enjoy being able to show people around the New Zealand outdoors. Um, we have you know a large guides association here in New Zealand now that keeps everything ethical and humane from our point of view. Yeah, and that's what it should be all um, about. And we, 
and, and that's what it should be about. I think that um, people doing th doing something to an animal that's not humane or, or you know uh, portraying something that's that's not uh, not quite right. I, I don't think that's fair on the rest of the hunters, to be honest. No, no, that's you know, right. It actually does a disservice. Our, our task you, you're right. Do it it well. does a disservice to you and other hunters. Sheldon, thank you very much for joining us. Sheldon Lai uh, from Hunting Trophy.